Hey YouTube, it's Sean Griffin RC Plane. So let's talk about the FMS Reflex, the flight uh, controller, the the stability, the gyro, the FMS Reflex that comes in the FMS airplanes. You know this is FMS's AS3X Safe Select. Spectrum has their safe receivers you know the as3x safe select and fms has their own flight stabilizing device and it's called the reflex and i want to kind of help somebody in particular and everybody all at the same time and i was trying to give somebody a little bit of advice and, and a little help saying that you can change planes in the fms Reflex, let's say you bought the Reflex in a, you know, a, an Avanti and, um, you know, you traded it or you crashed it, but the Reflex is good. And then the next uh, airplane you bought was the, uh, you know, the FMS pits and you wanted to put the Reflex into the pits. Well, the Reflex needs to be programmed for each airplane. So it knows up and down and left and right and it knows which direction the servo needs to move you know the reflex does several different jobs and one of them is for stability you know if a gust of wind blows you know the right wing up a little bit then the reflex needs to know how to counteract the wind so it needs to know how to move you know the servos in in the direction that they need to move for that particular plane so it has to be programmed per plane and then i just noticed that fms came out with a version three and the version three looks like it's more advanced and it can do other planes other than fms products and it looks like that you can program and, and make changes to the reflex from your mobile phone through bluetooth and i think that's really cool man so real quick we'll Take a look here at the uh, at the reflex information, and then I'll show you how to open up the programmer here in a computer, and we can we'll do a little reading about how the new version three is done with the Bluetooth option. But right now, so I'm on the FMS Models website, and you scroll way down to the bottom, and you see here products and discover support and and so on and over here on the left says reflex stable flight tech so we'll click on that guy right there and here we are on the fms reflex v3 the last one i had was a v2 i don't have any videos on a v3 but i'm going to get a hold of a v3 so that we can start doing some videos on on the version three but right now we're talking about the version two so we'll just kind of scroll down here and just see what's going on and uh, i missed a button it says view more oh good lord look at all that stuff so what does the reflex do it has different functions it has three different flight modes are available in the reflex you know stabilize optimize or manual mode so obviously stabilize sound like stabilize and optimize is for like a stability you know gust of wind and stabilize and keep it level stabilization mode designed for beginners <laughs> I like stabilization mode. I still fly my e-flight planes in safe select. <laughs> I, I'm not afraid to say it. I do quite often, about 99.9% .9 of the time. I turn it off and I'm going to do a trick and then turn it back on quick. So stabilized mode for beginners. This mode reduces the sensitivity of, of the aircraft by limiting the control surface angles. So that, you know, limited bank angles. And then it would uh, level it back up, back out for you. Manual mode turns all the functions off. Complo uh, flown completely manual. So no stabilization and no uh, self-leveling. And optimize mode is the reflexes system of, well, we'll just read it. So it's uh, advanced solid state gyros. The reflex system maintains aircraft uh, altitude by counteracting in flight upsets, <laughs> gust of wind, crosswinds. So the optimized mode is stability, the stabilized mode keeps it level. 
the one on the left is the version two, and that's the one that I'm familiar with. And then look at this version three. And right here, we can compare them over here on the left here. It's going to say what the version two can do. And over here on the right, it's going to say what this version three can do. So let's look at the one on the left, the version two. What uh, applicable modes? I can't say that three times. So it FMS, airplanes. But then you look at the version three and it says all brands of RC airplanes. So that's cool. So that means it might be programmable per plane. And then the Reflex version two needs to be programmed with a computer running Windows or you now there are some Windows smartphones, but Windows like right now I'm on a computer using Windows. This version three says it can use iOS, Android mobile and Windows. The iOS is Apple. So that's your uh, iPhone and Android is the is the other the, the other smartphone. You got two main smartphones. You got your Apple products and you have your Android products. There are a Windows phone, but uh, those are the two main players, plus Windows computers. So Reflex V3, you got several different options on how to program it. And then you look down here, it says parameter adjustment. Over on the left, it's got an X. So there's no parameter adjustments on the version two. On the version three, adjust anytime and anywhere by mobile phone. That's pretty cool. Bluetooth pairing, not available on the version 2, but it is available on the version 3. Modify passwords, you can do it on the 3, not on the 2. Custom names on the 3, not on the 2. Looks like this version 3 says customizable parameter adjustments. The Reflex V3 integrates Bluetooth. Pilots have the flexibility to adjust parameters based on their personal preferences and requirements. Ensuring a tailor and unforgettable flying experience. Expand uh, RC aircraft compatibility. And uh, you guys can read all this stuff, but we're just kind of cruising through it and checking things out. And then we're going to get into the programmer real quick. Just want to do something real, real quick and fun for you guys. That's me on the left right here, the beginner pilot and the experienced pilot. That looks like, uh, that looks like Brian. Is that our boy Brian Phillips right there? <laughs> oh, we're just looking through here. We're just looking through. And then download links. So here's the Windows version computer download for the programmer. Or here is for the Android. And then it says search FMS hobby on the App Store, Google Play, or scan the QR code if you're using a smartphone such as Apple. Right now, I'm on a Windows computer and I have Android phones, so that's probably why we don't see a iOS download right here. Just because the computers are so dang smart and everything's linked, it just knows I don't have any Apple products. And here's manuals for both of them. So we're going to open up the Windows programmer. And you would click on this. And then you would open it up and download and follow the directions in your computer. And when you do all that, you end up here. Like I said, you would end up here. So welcome to the FMS model world. So it looks like this programmer right here, you can use to do the version two or the version three, because I didn't see a download specific to the version two. Now, I'm not connected to a reflex. If I was, there'd be more options in this screen we're looking at right now. But you can see on the left, here's all the other airplanes. And this is one of the things that I'm wanting to target directly to somebody that I was talking to earlier today was, hey, we can program your reflex. And I was taking it that he had a version two, me not knowing about a version three. And I was saying, hey, we need to put, you know, a plane in the reflex that is in the FMS list. And the way you can figure out the list is either look at this or you can look at the 
you know, the different FMS airplanes and see which ones, you know, come with a reflex. Now, you can get the planes with or without, but which ones come with it are what planes are available to put in the reflex. So here's the list. We'll start at the old top here. So the, so the, the, 1400 millimeter pits you can put the fms reflex in there i have the pits i think it's a cool plane uh this 1400 millimeter sky trainer the 1700 millimeter f4u corsair uh the p40 the mxs that's kind of a uh like a 3d plane kind of like my uh extra 300 ish 1200 millimeter uh cj6 the I guess it's called the Rafal. Several people say it different ways. So the 80 millimeter Rafal or this uh, Super Ease or the 1700 millimeter F7F. That's the Wildcat, I believe. And this PC21 and the J3 Cub and the Super Cub and uh, the Ranger. People say that Ranger is a fun plane to fly and it's big and it's somewhat on the affordable scale. I think that's the green one. And this uh, looks like an F-18. And uh, the BAE Hawk. And the Futura Kingfisher. The 2000 millimeter Beaver. I have the Beaver. Cool plane the Beaver is. Their big A-10 and Ranger. And the 1500 millimeter P-51. The F-4, F-4U. Zero, the Avanti, that's the plane we gave away last year, maybe a year and a half ago now, when we hit a 1,000 uh, subscribers. We are close to 5,000, and then we're going to give another jet away. And maybe uh, something else. We'll see. I'll dig around dig around here in my hobby room and see what I can come up with. It'll be something uh, something from me, something you know, secondhand, something out of my collection. It might be a receiver. might be some batteries. It might be a lump of coal. Well, it might be something. And there's a 750 millimeter Edge 540. I didn't know about that. I'm sure there's lots of planes that are out there right now that I don't know about since I've been out of pocket for about 10 months. P51, F16, the Flash, the big P51, which I think is really cool. At least it's good looking. The Dago, a smaller P51, a Viper, bigger Viper, T28, a Super Scorpion. Uh, what's a type in? I don't know what that is. And I don't know what the, uh, what is that? A one SP 47. I don't know. And a zero. What is this? What's a Moa Hale? Oh, that might be the glider plane. Ranger, a smaller Rafal, a traveler, three meter Fox or two 2300 millimeter Fox. Here's the, is that called a Molly? And here's the Super Cub and uh, a V2 F3 a I don't know what that is. An F16, I know that. Another Futura, another uh, something, 80 millimeter, 80 F86. I don't know what that is. An Integral, hmm, interesting. A Cessna. Oh, a 64 F-16. Oh, there's all, oh, and a 90 millimeter Avanti. So that list is quite big compared to the last time that I was doing my videos uh, on the reflex. So the list has gotten bigger. So anyways, if you had a, uh, a reflex or if I had one right now, I would plug it in. And then over here on the right, it would have, uh, it would have some more information and we'd be able to do other stuff. But one of the things that when you select something to program into the reflex, it will give you an image on where to place the receiver or the reflex. And you need to mount the receiver just as it tells you. If it uh, you know, has the label facing up and the plugs are facing forward or back, you, know, you have to mount it exactly how they tell you to. And I'm trying to see if we can see any of that. And, uh, and we can't. So if I, uh, okay, here we go. Installation instructions. Now, this is what I was saying about installing the reflex just as it tells you to. So let's see, uh, if we can do the FMS pits 
and right here installation instructions and here is a picture of the reflex and it's showing where it needs to be installed inside the pit so it looks like uh, the pins are up here in the top right and they're going to face forward in the plane so that's cool so let's look at this uh, sky trainer installation instructions and here it looks like uh, the airplane is flipped upside down and that's how the uh the reflex is installed so here's two good examples about how the reflex needs to be mounted perfect for that airplane because we're looking at a sky trainer and it has the airplane flipped upside down and the reflex is mounted with the pins you know facing down and we'll go back here to the pits and the pits is right side up and the pins are facing up the reason i know this is right side up is i have the pits and right now the canopy is off you know the battery would slide in this way let's look at the this rafal and uh looks like the pins the square block with the pins are facing to the back one more then we're out of here 1800 millimeter ranger and the plane is right side up and the pins are right here and in the there the pins are to the back and looks like they're more over to the left side of the airplane if you were sitting in it so it's very important where the reflex is mounted if you want to win a jet like this all you have to do is subscribe click the like button and leave a comment and then uh, Ring the bell so you don't miss my next video. At a thousand subscribers, we gave this jet away. At five thousand, we're going to give another one. I don't know what it is yet. We'll see when that time comes. So hey, subscribe, guys. Happy flying.